Aquatic Game starring good old James Pond and uh, this is a game uh, I, I had or potentially just one that I repeatedly rented I'm not entirely sure but I did like it it's basically like international track and field that type of thing but with James Pond and a load of sort of odd side characters all fish and sea related um, god this is hard <laughs> so if you can't tell I'm mashing the pad at the minute it's a bit like 100 meters oh dear we failed the Mega Drive pad was never really well made for this I'm I'm currently playing this with a PlayStation 3 pad and it's also not very well going very well for me with this. I remember this one being incredibly hard. I can't even see him. Ah. Uh... Jeez, that's a lot harder than I remember. <laughs> so if you see at the bottom I need to qualify I need 17 seconds now it's 2 seconds off there which is quite a lot really come on as I recall you can just sample every event though and you don't have to actually uh, beat them all so we'll have a go on every event it just shows how popular James Pond was um, at the time. His platform games were great, of course. Anyone who played them would, I'm sure, agree. James Pond 2 Robocod was uh, a particular favourite of mine. Let's have a look. Okay, here we go. So we'll go on Kipper watching. Okay, so with this one, I'm like a little seahorse or a seal. I'm gonna bounce the balls away from the sleeping seals. And I've not done too well there. All seals frightened. Damn. It's a fun game, though. I mean, you know, I don't. I don't know how common this type of game was back then. We had, I remember, California Games. Um, as I say, international track and field. It's kind of like Mario and Sonic at the Olympics, stuff like that. And you see the blue balls that just came down there, weighted heavier, so they come down quicker. We get into a bit of rhythm here. That's better. Bit of rhythm. So, just for a bit of context, the game came out in 1992 on um, the Mega Drive and the Super Nintendo, as well as the Amiga and uh, the Atari, Atari ST. As you can see from the the start, the start of it, it was published by EA, but it was actually developed by Millennium Interactive. Um, who obviously made the James Pond games. <clears throat> this is quite good fun. Good gameplay, it's very responsive. Um, I remember this, like I say, it was a game, I, I, I think I did have it, but I certainly, one time or another, rented this quite often. I had a habit of just repeatedly renting the same games rather than simply buying them as it was a lot cheaper at the time to do that but we didn't have a blockbuster near us oh it's a strange choice though isn't it you know when they were thinking right we need a spin-off with James Pond or oh, how about an Olympics game oh it's going it's, it's not going well uh, 
Oh, we've, we've pulled it back. Yeah, it's a strange choice after side-scrolling 2D platformers, but as I say, Mario's done it, Sonic's done it. But it works well. I can't remember all of the events. I remember one. You're um, like on a pier and you have to feed these fish that are coming up. I remember that one. But, uh, don't remember an awful lot about this game. Other than that, I did like it. And it's still good fun now. Going by the two events we've done so far. It's a lot like the 100 metres, this one. Except I'm now... Oh, I think I was meant to let that go up a bit further. Yeah, except I'm now the frog. Oh, dear. <laughs> yeah, this one came out in 1992, so I'm not sure... Um, when the James Pond games came out, I'm assuming this was between like the first and the second, or the second and the third, probably at the height of his popularity. I remember this one, you have to like jump and hit them shells, as I recall. There we go. Yeah, it's weird, James Pond, why is he no longer a thing? I don't know if he um, ever went beyond the 16-bit era, I'd have to look into that, I've certainly never seen um, any further James Pond games? But um, I think that's a franchise that they could redo. Maybe um, a remaster of the original platformers. Throw in aquatic games as well. Because it, it was one of them series that obviously it was never like Sonic or Mario or Earthworm Jim or any of these Donkey Kong, you know, the massive side-scrolling games, but everyone remembers him quite fondly, don't they? Or I do. Oh dear. So this one's, it doesn't control as well, this game. Um, the issue with it is the sponges that you're hitting to bounce you have to press jump at the same time and it doesn't seem to be constantly picking up my um, my button press but uh, it's alright time out well I'm not doing well on it I mean that's become a pretty constant source of amusement on the uh, these videos this far. Feeding time, this must be the one I remember. Yeah, it is. So you go across the top and you have to fill this satchel up with sweets or whatever they are, uh, fish food, and you send them down to try and make sure they never reach the top. So this one I, re I do remember quite clearly and obviously there's people fishing as well and you have to try and get them back in the water before they get caught because we're a friend of the fish so it's quite got quite a lot of variety to it you know they've not just one one thing you'd have to give it credit for is they've not just thought right we're doing a James Pond Olympics game and they've just done 100 meters um, high jump discus whatever else They've tried to make, you know, aquatic themed games, as per the name, which is quite cool, because I know like in Mario and Sonic at the Olympics, as an example, you're not necessarily, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think they are just kind of real life events, they're not themed really around the franchise in question. Oh, he's going to get it. Uh oh, we're in trouble. <laughs> the fish are gone. So 
So that one was quite fun. Shell shooting. Hmm. I do not remember this. <laughs> what do I do? Okay, so I think I have to flip these and then catch them with that weird, like, net that I pull out over my head. Maybe. But then there's balloons up there. Okay, so I need to pop balloons as well. This is difficult. What is happening? There's like another area up at the top that looks like it's got different stuff in it as well. How do I get up there? Failed. Right. Well, let's have another go on that because I'm really, really lost as to what I were doing there. So I must have to flip them and catch them. Surely that's right. Come here. Oh. <laughs> what are these, like, urchins? That's it, I've got it. No, nope, okay. Why do some of them become, like, flies, or... This is bizarre. Really bizarre. Hey, we caught one. We caught two. And we failed. Um, I have to be honest, I had absolutely no idea what I was meant to be doing there. Like, <laughs> tour de grass. Okay, so I'm a unicycling dolphin. Unless there's something I'm missing, this seems relatively simple. Because you can jump on anything. Oh, if you look at the time to qualify, so I need to do it faster. I don't understand how. I'm going as fast as I can. Oh dear. going on I tell you it's an interesting game is this what a bizarre set of events I mean what set of circumstances made them go I want it to be James Pond Olympics please and I want you to make it totally different to the actual events I want you to make them entirely fish themed oh look right at the end there so if Instead of jumping down the hills, just let go and the unicycle gives you speed. I mean, that does make sense, really, but I weren't trying it, so let's give it another go. Let's see if we can get some speed up when we go down each hill. Whee, there we go, that's what I weren't doing. It does run out pretty fast, though. Oh yes. Oh, we needed to get on those hills, don't we? This is quite fun. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm in no way doing well, as we can tell by the qualification, but... It seems a difficult game. Maybe I'm totally wrong. It does. Woo! Oh, quite fun. It's alright, isn't it? It's uh, graphically very similar to the James Pond games themselves, and it's weird, quite original, a bit different to anything else we've come across so far. And like I say, I do have some good memories of this. I, I was certainly knowing what I were doing when I were seven or eight, as opposed to thirty-three. But it's uh, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Bring James Pond back, I think, 
should be the messaging from this because he's overdue a return. A lot of kids nowadays need a bit of James Pond in their lives, in my opinion. I, th I think uh, he's, he's definitely worth another look with his um, platform games. So there we go, that's the Aquatic game starring James Pond. I think we've sampled every event there. It's a solid enough game, it's alright, it's good fun, colourful, very difficult, but that might just be me. Um, not bad.